Hello everybody and welcome back to a daily vlog. It is Star Wars Day, May the Force be with you. I'm so excited. I'm going to actually head over to Disneyland Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It's probably going to be crazy busy, but I'm really excited to take in the magic. So I've got kind of a more casual outfit on today, just a resistant shirt, some jeans. I don't know if you can see my boots and then I'm holding my mic. So sorry if I'm going in and out. I also have my Star Wars bracelet stack. I'll show a better close up of that later for you guys, but I'm already running a little like late to the day. I had some work to do in the morning, counseling, and then I'm heading over to the park right now. So if you wanna come along and join me and see what I get up to, make sure to grab a delicious cup of tea or your choice of beverage, and let's get started in today's daily vlog. Hey everybody, happy Star Wars Day! So I just got my photo taken and trying to see a little bit of my outfit again and we're gonna go take in all the magic, so let's go! I first visited Star Wars Galaxy Edge back at Christmas time. My first ever Disney trip was in 2017 when they were still building it. I went again in 2018 and then at Christmas I finally got to experience it and it was just so amazing. So it is so fun to explore here. If you haven't had the chance to go, I highly recommend it. And now I'm going to share with you a close-up look at my Star Wars bracelet stack for the day. So to start off with, I have the Pandora Celestial Stars bracelet. It is so pretty. Next to it, then I have my Pandora Reflections bracelet with the little clip charm. Of course, my Star Wars Pandora bracelet, which I love. If you want to see a whole look at the Star Wars collection that came out back in, I think it was in 2020. I'll leave a link up above the screen right now on where you can find that video. And then I also have a beautiful bracelet that my friend Christine at All in the Dangles gave to me. Now, as you can see, we have a Grogu Mandalorian, the child spotting right here was so cool. He was like so popular on Star Wars Day, May 4th, so popular. And then I headed over to get a must on Star Wars Day, of course, blue milk. I absolutely love the blue milk here. It's made with rice milk, which means it's dairy friendly, which I absolutely love. It's lovely when I can get like a delicious treat. It's kind of like a slushy kind of texture to it. And I really love it. I still have yet to properly have the green milk. I had a little bit of my friend during this trip. It was pretty good. And then, oh my gosh, as I was walking around, look who I bumped into. So I found a shady spot and I hung out next to these droids as I drank my blue milk and just took in all the fun of the day. So many people were here. It was completely packed and everyone was just so excited to be here. A lot of people were dressed up for the occasion. There was also a very special event, ticketed event later that night. Of course, I did not get tickets for that. I'm actually going to be going to a concert, so stay tuned for that. But everyone looked so amazing. I had so much fun like going up to people and going like, oh my gosh, you look amazing. It was so fun. Now, another thing I really wanted to do is to do some bounty hunting. It was so crowded though, so I decided it would be better to go back tomorrow to do the bounty hunting, but I decided to include that footage today since it was Star Wars Day. It just makes sense to have it more in this video today. So we're gonna kind of zap to the future for just a moment, but this is so much fun. It's through the Disneyland Play app, as well as the Magic Band, and it is so fun. Let me show you how it works. Back so soon with your second bounty. Nice job. But can you find more? Here are your credits. Bounty hunting is a bit like a scavenger hunt. You get your assignment by scanning your magic band at the bounty hunting like kind of area. 
And then when your band is green, you're going the right direction. But when it turns red, you're going the wrong. And when it turns purple, you're very close to your scanner. So you find the scan, you tap your magic band to it. Then you open up your phone, you tap your phone onto your magic band. And then from there, you're able to find your selected target. So here I found the target, we found him, and we're gonna go get our credits, which is basically money. And it's so cool, you go back to the little area you were just at. So here I am, and then you scan your magic band. One thing I love is bumping into other people who are playing the game too. It's so much fun to interact with them and ask them, how oh, have you found your target yet? It's so fun. It's a great way to like, you know, meet people who are also visiting Galaxy's Edge. I love how you use the Disneyland Play app to scan for your target. I think it's so interactive. You really feel like you're immersed into the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge experience. Honestly, it's so much fun. And if you have a chance to go and do some bounty hunting with your magic band, it's 100% worth it. It's technically free to do, but you do have to pay for your magic band and obviously your park ticket too. Up next, you guys, it is time to ride Rise of the Resistance. I did do Genie Plus to go on this just so I didn't have to wait as long in line because there was a lot of other things I wanted to do that day. Thank you for joining the cause. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a first order stop. This ride is so interactive. There's so much going on from going on to your own spaceship. <laughs> You can feel the spaceship moving and taking off into the galaxy. An unusual After being coldly greeted by the stormtroopers, you head into another lineup where you wait and then you're assigned a color and you go and you line up at that color. Then you head into a room to be interrogated. It's a little bit scary. Everyone here is very serious. You feel so emerged into this. Enemies of the First Order. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base. Thankfully, we all got rescued, you guys. So let's head out the door that they just opened for us. Wait there, Wait there, guys. Wait there, guys. Wait there, guys. We're gonna get you guys out, okay? Come on, let's go before they come back. Right, 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 right. And this is when the ride officially starts. You put your seatbelts on and get ready to buckle up because you just are going and you're trying to escape, basically. And this ride is so much fun. I highly, highly recommend it.
As you can see, there was a surprise drop right there, but it's not too bad at all. All right, nice job, recruits. Not what you signed on for, but hey, you resist us now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. I had so much fun. It was amazing, and what a blessing to be able to ride this ride literally on Star Wars Day, May 4th. It was so amazing. I headed off the ride, took in a little bit more of the magic, and then I headed on over to Fantasyland. I was wanting to go on some Fantasyland rides, and it was getting actually really packed in Galaxy's Edge. So I decided to go back another day that I was visiting just to enjoy more of it. So what ride did I decide to go on? I had to go on Mr. Toad. It was a pretty quick wait, so I had to go on. The ride is called Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. It opened on July 17th in 1955. It is one of the original Disneyland dark rides. It was also completely remodeled back in 1983. So they kind of like changed up the exterior and different parts of it. It is such a fun ride too. It's really fast so it goes by so fast. Hop into your own car and you're taken on this very wacky adventure. There's a lot of reckless driving going on. There's trains. You feel like you're going to crash into things. It is so fun. And here is where we crash into the train and then we end up in hell, which is pretty intense. It's actually really warm in here. You can like feel the heat. Thank you. Next, I decided to go back on Snow White. I filmed going on this ride the other day. I'll leave a link where you can find that video in case you want to see more of what this ride is like. I filmed more in, a little bit more in depth on this ride so you can see kind of really go on it with me. But here's some parts of it. After the Snow White ride, I decided to go on the Sleeping Beauty Castle walkthrough. I love going on here. It's really nice just to escape some of the hot sun and just enjoy and take in the story of Sleeping Beauty. This ride is built into the Sleeping Beauty Castle and you'll walk upstairs or you'll walk downstairs and there's little lookout windows where it'll tell bits of the story so they're interactive too, some of them. You'll have books you can read, but there'll also be these cool windows where things will change, the lighting will change, there's little special effects that happen. It is so magical and it's a really nice way if you're feeling tired or you're just kind of wanting to escape some of the crowds, it's a great place to go just to kind of escape, rest, and just enjoy the story. The Sleeping Beauty Castle walkthrough opened on July 17th, 1955. And it is so cool, you guys. There's some. There's also one scene that's really amazing where it's Maleficent turns into the dragon. You can see it here. Oh, so neat. The music, the lighting, and three-dimensional aspects to this make it so cool. You can see how some of it's even animated. And then also when you're leaving the ride, like stay tuned, I do show it, you'll see the shadow of Maleficent. It's so cool. You can see it right here. <laughs> Right behind the Sleeping Beauty castle is a beautiful statue of Princess Aurora with her prince as well as the three fairy godmothers flying around. It is beautiful. I love the little details on them. And this statue always makes me think of my friends Angie, Rita, and Nicole. Now after that, I headed into Starbucks. I needed some caffeine. I also really wanted to check out the new Star Wars mugs that released from Starbucks. 
I am an affiliate for Shop Disney. So I got an email about it. I was so excited because I'm like, I'm in the park and actually go look at these in person. It was so cool to go see them. And then of course, you guys, if you saw my last vlog, Disneyland vlog, I love the phone. Oh my gosh, it's so fun to eavesdrop on the conversations. Highly recommend doing it. Then I got my delicious Starbucks and I'm actually forgetting what I ended up getting. I'm pretty confident I got a matcha latte, but it might've been a vanilla latte too. They also had a parade going on with the different student bands, which was amazing to check out. I finished up my drink watching the bands go by and then it was time for my reservation at my favorite Disneyland restaurant, Carnation Cafe. I was so excited to go and enjoy a delicious lunch there. They have some wonderful options if you have allergies or dietary restrictions, things like that. And it's just my, oh, it's my favorite place. My favorite spot too is on the patio, taking in the sounds of Main Street USA, the gorgeous sun shining. I got a Diet Coke and a delicious sandwich and it, oh my gosh, it was so sweet. The one person when they found out I couldn't have dairy, they brought me these different like flavored mustards and I thought that was just so sweet of them. They, they were like, this is dairy free. So it was just, oh, it was so sweet. After lunch, I went to Tropical Hideaway because there was this delicious Dole Whip that I've been really wanting to try. Also, did you spot the magic carpet? So cool. Believe it or not, this is my first time going to Tropical Hideaway because there's always such a big lineup. So I usually just do a mobile order for Dole Whip at the Enchanted Tiki Room. I was really excited to wait in line. I also spotted all these magic carpets. What? So crazy, magical. I love that detail. This used to be an Aladdin themed area I found out. Oh, I wish I could have experienced that. It sounds so magical. Now the type of Dole Whip I wanted to try, you can't get on mobile order. It's called the Chili yeah, Mango thank Whip. Thank you so yeah. much, that looks so good. It has pineapple and mango flavored Dole Whip, as well as some chili seasoning to it. It has those fresh mango slices. There's even little bits of cucumber and chunks of pineapple. Honestly, it was so delicious, like sweet, salty, and a little spicy. So unique and very delicious. Then I headed on over to New Orleans Square. I wanted to go visit the Pandora store again to look at some Disney Park exclusive Pandora charms. There was one I was debating about, but on the way, look who I bumped into. Oh my goodness, I had to stay for a, quite a few of their songs. It was so much fun and so like, just so joyful. As for the Pandora charm that I was debating about, it was the Women of the Force. It was a special Star Wars exclusive Disney Park Pandora charm. It is a dangle design that features white enamel on it and it says Women of the Force and it is just so cool. Ultimately, I decided not to get it, I, but I, I do regret it a little bit. I just thought the price point for it was so much for what it was and I was just having a hard time justifying it, but I think the weird reason I was really debating it is supposed to be a lovely memory of being at Galaxy's Edge on Star Wars Day. And I just love like that kind of like feminism to the charm with the message on it. It is so cool. You'll be able to spot it in a little bit. Here's a look at also a lot of the other Disney Park exclusive charms they have. You might have been able to spot that Disney 100 Mickey. So cute. I do have a Disney Parks Pandora haul video. If you would like to see that video, I'll leave a link up above the screen right now on where you can find it. And here you can spot the charm, the Star Wars charm I'm talking about. Oh, I kind of regret it, you guys. It's so cool. If I get a chance to go back later this year, I might pick it up if it's still available. But on the same token, I love all the Star Wars charms I already have. And I think they represent the memory like even extra now because I got to wear that bracelet with those charms there. So I don't think I really need this charm. And honestly, I have so much. So sometimes it's best just to say no. Then I headed back on over to the hotel. Hey guys, I'm back at the hotel and I caught my little Alice. I wish I filmed it. She was just so happy when I came to pick her up and she was just 
oh my gosh, she was the best. It just, I missed her so much. It was so good. I got to like see her hang out. She's just hanging out here. I'm going to give her some dinner and stuff. And then I'm actually going to be heading out to a concert tonight to go see Blue Eyes Music. She's awesome. I fell in love with her. She came out with a song called You'd Never Know and then a bunch of other songs. And I relate to them so much. Like just if you've ever gone through like, you know, like kind of invisible illnesses, invisible injury, like endometriosis like me, like anything like that where it's just, you know, having a hard time <laughs> like with that stuff, like medical and being taken seriously and a lot of time with chronic pain and it's very visible, like invisible and just a lot of different kind of like, you know, even with mental health and all those things, a lot of times you can't judge someone based on how they look. So her music is amazing. I'm probably doing a terrible job <laughs> explaining her music right now because I'm like Disney exhausted, but I'm going to rest a bit. You guys can probably hear it in my voice. I'm just, <gasps> I kind of pushed myself a little too much today. So I'm going to rest up. I think I am going to change my outfit though, because I'm all Star Wars and I feel like for the concert, I should just change into something a little more concerty, eveningy. I'm going to keep my bracelets jewelry of the day though, but I'm not really sure what to wear. I, I think I might just wear like a tulle skirt and like kind of a more evening top or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just, I want to be comfortable because yeah, I'm tired. But anyway, I'm rambling. I have no idea if you're allowed to like film. Like it's like kind of like a my style concert actually. It's just kind of like low key, you know, it's not like this huge stadium concert or anything. It's just really chill and cool. I think it's going to be really cozy, intimate. And I'm, I'm so excited. So I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, so anyway, I'm so rambly. Anyway, <laughs> without further ado, you're probably next time you'll see me is heading to the concert. So we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, so got all ready for the concert. Decided to wear my Stellar 25, a lot of shadow right here, wrap dress. I'm gonna wear that with my Disney Villains faux leather jacket. I think it's gonna look really cool. Kept my Star Wars jewelry on. I'm exhausted, but I'm really excited for this concert. So I'm about to head off. I think I'm just gonna bring my phone to kind of vlog. I'm not sure, like, I don't know if I could actually bring this camera in or not. So I think it's safer just to bring my phone and kind of show you a sneak peek of the concert. I'm so excited. I have actually haven't been to a concert in, I can't even remember. Like, I think the last person I saw was my, one of my favorite singers, Vanessa Carlton. And that was like, I want to say 2017 maybe 2018 did i see her in 2018 i can't even remember guys it's been such a long time and i'm unless you count like mini you know concerts like christmas concerts and stuff but like something like this it's been a long time so i'm so excited i can't wait and it's gonna be really good so yeah i'll see you guys at the concert let's get going i had a lovely afternoon and into the evening with alice 9 30 is when the concert started so i got there a little bit early so i could line up i was really excited they had a little place where i wrote a message into the little cupcake and then i headed into the concert hall i listened to savannah sing she was the opening act i hadn't heard about her before so it's fun to discover her music And then Katie, AKA Blue Eyes, came out and oh my gosh, I was so excited. from that that you haven't had the chance to listen to yet so you're gonna get to experience them first the first time ever here um but yeah um we're not gonna play one of those songs now so i don't know why i'm saying this <laughs> but, um we're gonna play one that you might know um but yeah thank you all so much for being here my parents are here dad's right there i haven't seen mom yet but oh there she is <laughs> 
All right, um, <laughs> this next song is called Wish We Never Happened, right? Yeah. I've been known to start the wrong song. <laughs> So I was like, hmm, what if we recreate that for the show? So I'm going to draw a boon, as we called them at summer camp, and I'm going to read some. Okay, let's see what this one says. Hi, Abby. Thank you for existing. Love you lots, Rumi, and I'm so glad we get to share our love for Blue Eyes tonight. Lots of love, Melanie. Hi, Amor. Thank you for loving me and going through life with me. I'm so thankful and blessed to have you. Oh, I made um, most of this EP with Davin. He's just amazing. And um, yeah, um, I don't know if Johnny's here either, but Johnny, I wrote uh, My Body Hates Me with Johnny. Um, anywho, these are some songs about health stuff. Get ready to cry. Let's, let's go in together. Slowly I start feeling better I stitch my life back together Better till it just gets worse This was Blue Eyes first headliner concert where she was no longer an opening act where she was her own act and it was just it was amazing to be here it honestly was like a crazy dream come true. I Her music has helped me through so much the past couple of years and it was just phenomenal to hear her sing. And I didn't honestly think this night could get any better. The song, when we wrote that song, like literally like was such an intrinsic part of my healing process. And it led to so many other songs. And I just want to thank you, Davin, in front of all these people that are singing our song together. Like, thank you for just like, literally I, I went to his house and I just, sat down on his couch and he's like, so how you been? And I was like, <laughs> for like literally two hours. And through all the tears, somehow he found these words that were just like exactly how I was feeling. Anyway. Thank you, Gavin. Yeah, thank you, Gavin. <laughs> um, all right. So we had a new EP come out. <laughs> and none of you have heard some of these songs. It's very exciting. I just didn't have a voice. Um, but this is a song about the feeling that you have when you're just like, it's a part of the breakup where like, you you know that things are gonna get better with time, but like, it really sucks right now. And all that you can do to like, get your mind off of it is just to like, get like distract yourself with literally anything down to listening to the cars drive by and paying attention to how they sound to get your mind off of this person. So this song is called Street Noise. Due to copyright, I can't include Blue Eyes singing. However, I definitely encourage you guys to check her out on her Instagram or on your favorite music streaming service like Apple Music or Spotify. I think she's even on YouTube potentially. So definitely take a look out for her music. It's so beautiful. Some of my favorite songs I'll leave down below in the description bar of this video. Here comes the bridge, you guys. Are we ready? I know you know this one. Well, I think some of you might know. Ready? Here we go. I actually got to meet Blue Eyes' father. He was actually really close to where I was standing, and he was honestly the sweetest, like so lovely. And I got to learn even more about Katie, aka Blue Eyes, and so crazy, so amazing. And she also announced that she would be doing, like taking some time to do meet and greets at the end. And I like got so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, if it's not too late, I have to wait in line to get the chance to just thank her for her music and how much it's helped me. I'm sorry you had a bad day, but Blue Eyes and I are here to make it better. Love, Tommy. Everybody say we love you, Mikey. Love you. Yay. Good friend, Andrew Tufano. Um, and 
and uh, yeah, so I just thought it'd be fun. Hi, how's it going? Great. How you doing? You guys sound amazing. Oh, you sounded amazing. I'm dancing back there. Oh yay! Um, yeah, I don't know if you could hear me. Every song, it would like I, after you finished every song, I was like clapping back there. I was like, Thank you. Anyway, um, <laughs> we're just having a conversation up here. Um, but yeah, we wrote this song called Wish I Said about the feeling that you have. It also is a song you don't know, so <laughs> um, you get to just listen. But um, I had a phone conversation with this friend of mine that I'd had a falling out with and like didn't speak to anymore. And then randomly they called me and I was like, well, like after two years of nothing, I was like, this is weird. And then I was on the phone. And I was so nice, you guys. I was so nice. And then I hung up the phone and immediately was like, God damn it. I should have said so many things. <laughs> and uh, so that's what this song is about. <laughs> my family and my dad who took me today. Shout out to everyone here for being amazing. You rock. I agree. I agree. Love you, blue eyes. Love you too. And then I'm, I'm going to play the song and then I'm going to go over there and then you guys are gonna cheer really loud and then I'm gonna come back, okay? <laughs> We're just gonna get it out of the way. <laughs> it's gonna be very seamless and I'm gonna look so shocked. But this is, it caused a lot of trouble in rehearsal actually because this song is actually called The Last Song. And so when Jacob would say, okay, we're gonna do the last song next, we'd be like, wait, the last song or like the actual last song? So anyway, this song also just came out. Um, and apparently it's on New Music Friday? Which is wild. So shout out to my team at version three. They're the best. Um, my entire team is here. And that brought a lot of you to me and I just wanted to say that I'm so thankful for each and every one of you and I actually have a boon for you guys. Dear Moroccan Lounge, thanks for being the best crowd ever. I love you so much. Love, Katie. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you. Thank you again for being here, for spending your time and your energy coming and being here with us. It's just so, so special. Um, and thank you for loving so many of my songs that are just so vulnerable. I can't tell you how much it's done for me so personally. And um, I, I am a better person because of you guys. So thank you for, for listening and for appreciating me for who I am. The encore song was called You Would Never Know, and this is hands down one of my favorite Blue Eyes songs. The first time I ever heard the song, I like just broke down and cried to it. I related to it so much, and I think it's so amazing when we can use the pain we go through to help others who go through similar things. And this song, Katie's so awesome. I'm so thankful for her to, for writing this song. After the concert ended, I got in line and I am still fangirling. I still cannot believe, one, that I got to see her in concert, have an amazing spot to watch her perform, and then what I get to meet her, it was just, honestly, it was insane. I'm like already getting emotional, like thinking about it as I do this voiceover. It was so incredible to meet her and thank her for her music and just how much you know it's helped me but so many other people too so she was also just the most sweetest kindest person just so so genuine then i headed back to the hotel it was 
like I think after midnight at this point and I couldn't wait to go see Alice. She had spent a lot of fun at doggy daycare that day, but I really missed her and she was so, so happy to see me. So we ended up just having a lovely, lovely cuddle fest together. We went to bed and yeah, it was just honestly, it was just such an incredible day. And I just remember this moment of just feeling like, oh, feeling so blessed and so lucky to have just spent an incredible day at Disneyland and to literally end the night seeing like an artist that I absolutely love. Like I'm still like when I think about it, it's just like, it's amazing. It's such a just amazing. Feel so, so blessed. But anyway, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful, magical rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this vlog a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but hopefully you enjoyed some of the concert too. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care and goodbye for now.